All right, we're on to text. So this is exactly what it looked like when we came in to create our site from the last video. And so now I want to add a title to my website. So you'll notice right here it says click to edit text. I'm going to click and now I can put the title of my website in. So I'm doing the Pampered Pups uh, website from the textbook Web Hot Shots. And so I put in Pampered Pups. Now you'll notice this menu uh, appears when you start typing text. So um, you don't have a lot of choice in terms of like different fonts or anything like that because they're trying to make sure that um, it is uh, legible and um, people can read it even if they have a screen reader or any of those accessibility issues um, on the web. So you are limited in your font types. So right here, we have a couple of different kinds of fonts. Now these um, will be familiar to you when you were doing H2 and H1, uh, when you were coding them in HTML. So they correspond to those codes. So normal text, title, heading, subheading, and small. So those are the only um, sizes of text that we can do. So not for so long, I have my pamper pups and now I need to do another text box to do my subheading. So I'm going to double click anywhere or I can click on this um, insert text box. So this is currently on insert and I can insert a text box. So I'm just gonna double click because that's what I do. And then it places it right underneath um, my main title. And so now I'm going to put doggy salon and kennel. But you'll notice that it's really small and it's not centered right underneath um, my title. So in order to do that, I'm just going to click back into my doggy salon and kennel. And I'm going to click on heading. Okay, because that means it's going to be a little bit smaller than title. And I think I like that. And then I'm also going to center justify it by clicking these lines. And then do the lines that are in the center. So now I have my pampered pups and I have my subtitle. I have my title and my subtitle. Now in um, the textbook, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to put on um, the home page. Uh, we'll get to that. So in the next video, you're going to learn how to put images into a website.